Hey ETU members in Enerjex, Ergon and Powerlink, this is an EBA update. Members would have already been received, um, receiving regular updates via email or via um, ETU circulars in the mail. If you haven't been receiving them, please contact the senior delegates, update your address details so you stay informed throughout this process. This, this round of negotiations is seeing an unprecedented level of prof propaganda from all three of the corporations. Obviously, this will increase as they get closer to the state election, with the LNP pushing ahead, um, dictating to these uh, senior level managers to try and deliver substandard agreements, which will ultimately take away your job security, your wages and your conditions. Uh, some of the things that they do, all three of the corporations want to come after, is your employment security. Um, this, this alone, coupled with the use of contractors' protections, could see wholesale redundancies and mass ramping up of contractors at the lowest wages and conditions as possible. Because all three of the corporations not only come, want to take away the use of contractors' clause, but they also want to take away the, the part of the clause that states that contractors will be paid no less favourable wages and conditions than each of you. They all want to, um, um, Energex and Powerlink, sorry, want to ramp up the use of contractors in relation to HV switching. All three of the corporations want to take away the minimum apprentice numbers out of the agreement and want managers to be able to dictate the numbers of apprentices. History shows us when managers um, have made operational decisions in relation to apprentices that apprentice training um, pretty much winds to a halt. Um, there's also um, the attempt at take, taking away by all three of the corporations of the co consultation provisions which will limit our ability to have influence over re, uh, structural changes or major changes within the businesses. All three of the corporations want to take away as much, um, as much out of the agreement and contain them in policies um, as they possibly can. The reason for this, this is the companies know that they can make changes to policies um, with little or no consultation with their employees. Um, this alone, with all of these previously notified um, attacks, could see major changes, major mass redundancies, mass ramp up of, um, of contractors with little to no ability for, for your union and yourselves to have influence over, that, um, over those decisions. Um, what we need is we need all members to stay active, we need all mem members to challenge managers when they come out to your workplace and ask them the hard questions. Ask them, can they guarantee that no job losses will result um, as a result of this um, EBA if it's allowed to go through. Um, talk to all employees, not only people within your own workplace, not only union members but also non-union members. Ask them why they're not a union member. Um, ask white collar workers if they're not a union member, why not? Ask them to get involved. Explain to them the potential implications if these agreements go through. All three of the corporations past expiry, once the agreement expires, can put out substandard documents. So the protection that we have then is to make sure that all employees covered by the agreement vote no. Because if 50% plus one covered by the agreement vote in favour of that document, that agreement um, then goes through and covers all employees, unfortunately. So keep up to date, keep informed, keep talking about this CBA. Um, be aware of the bigger picture and what, um, what's being driven by the LNP and, um, and, and keep talking about this and keep, keep active in your workplace. And, and most important of all, when you're asked to get involved in the not for sale campaign to get rid of this rotten LNP government that wants to not only take away your wages and conditions but also privatise your industry, uh, please get involved and get active and let's get active right through until the, the election and see the back of this rotten government. Thank you.